Hello, in this video, we will see everything related to the PAR.Tracking tracking code and all its implications. We will see the specific case of installing it through Google Tag Manager. First, it is important to emphasize the importance of installing the tracking code. It should be noted that this tracking code is like PAR.Its own analytics code, and it will collect information that, in some cases, is similar to any analytics code, such as sessions, page views, completed forms, or file downloads. All this information has implications in terms of analyzing our prospects, but it is also important for later automation, as we can trigger automations based on the information collected from each prospect, as we will see later. Once we install the code, as we mentioned before, it will allow us to perform different analytics, and not only analytics, but also actions that we can generate based on all this information collected by this specific tracking code from visitors, etc. Regarding actions, there are several options. For example, the most typical one could be triggering an action when a user visits a specific page. A very common case is even the one that Salesforce uses as an example, which is creating a page action where someone visits a pricing page, and for example, an email is triggered to the owner of that contact or lead so that they can take a certain commercial action with them because it seems that they have a special interest in something that is already in an advanced stage of the sales process. Now, let's configure a campaign assuming that campaigns are synchronized with Pardot, which is recommended to be the case. There are two steps to follow. The first step is to create the campaign. Let's choose any record type that syncs with Pardot for our case. And we will name it Website Tracking Code. We choose any type. And we click on Save. Now, to collect the code that we need to implement on the website in cases of campaigns where we want to track the information, such as in the case of the Website Tracking Code, we sometimes divide sites and even have several tracking codes. One can be for the blog, another for the corporate website, and there can be subdomains. This depends on the strategy and criteria of each company. Let's now go to the account engagements campaigns area. As you can see, the campaign that we just created appears. We enter the campaign, and here you can see the View Tracking Code button. We simply click on it, and here we have all the code that we need to install on our website. Simply click on the View Tracking Code, button to get the code that needs to be installed on your website. Copy the code and paste it in Google Tag Manager, then save the tag. Go to the preview mode in Google Tag Manager to verify that the code is executing correctly. You can also check the source code to see if the code is being printed correctly, or use the Google Tag Manager preview mode to check if the trigger has been fired and the code has been printed. Then, Go back to Pardot and verify that the campaign is generating visitors. With this, you should have everything configured and be able to run campaigns triggered by actions verified by these analytics codes. Note that on some websites, there may be multiple areas where different tracking codes are needed. For example, one area may have Pardot code for the main website, while another area may have a different code for the blog. By setting exceptions, you can ensure that the correct code is applied to the correct area. This is everything you need to know regarding PAR.Code code configuration. We hope this video has been helpful and we'll see you in the next one.